Hi everyone, Shibu here. It's been a teeny weeny tiny while since I've last uploaded a Honkai Star Wars video. So to redeem myself, here is the guide on how you can easily clear World 7 of Simulated Universe even with free to play characters. Now enough yapping, let's get right into it. So here we have World 7. For this guide, I'm going to be doing difficulty 1, but it really doesn't matter because the strategy is all the same at the higher difficulties. Now for World 7, this is the team I'll be using with Fire MC as the, as the shielder and Lynx as the healer and the rest of the two slots are really interchangeable with any free-to-play characters or any four stars you have. To be honest, any character is fine as long as they counter the boss weakness. If you have five stars, any five star is good. In my case, I have Seelie I could use. Uh, I could also put Silver Wolf with her. I could even go with Yang Ching and Pila, something like this. You can go with any team you want as long as your DPS can deal these types of damage. Let's continue with the four star team, which is very free-to-play friendly and of course you can Always switch out Hook and Pila for Chinche and Asta. But these are the characters I have leveled up, so I'm just going to use them. For World 7, there's really only one path to choose, which is the hunt, because it will make this world a joke. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's gonna be so fun towards the end. You can literally do this with blindfolds on. Now, in the best conditions, you want to have bone arrow and perfect aim. Because every single time an enemy is defeated, it regenerates 50% of the energy. And guess what 50% of the energy is of 200 points? It's a whole 100 points! Which means you actually refresh your skill. And you'll see how that's important in a moment. But it's completely broken, let me tell you that. If you really can't get enough blessings, you can choose whichever of the two you want. But ideally, you want both. So when you come to this screen, you want to choose the one curio, you could get some great stuff. Especially look out for these two items. They can really make or break your run. But yeah, from these curios, I'm going to choose this one. This one can actually give you a lot of blessings. So I'm going to choose this. Right, now we're in the game. Now for these trash mobs, you can basically just auto them. It doesn't really matter. So if we get blessings, we always want blessings of the hunt. We only want the hunt. And if we don't get the hunt, like what I'm having right now, because we're unlucky, you can choose whatever you want but I would prioritize health so blessings of abundance or preservation will work great so just focus on your survivability if you can't choose paths of the hunt so we're gonna go with this now for our next one oh we're so unlucky well I guess we have to reset and here's our first hunt blessing choose that it doesn't really matter which one as long as it's hunt we choose it again no hunt so we're gonna choose the one that gives us more survivability Bam. Easy kill. Oh, nice. We immediately got crit rate. That's what we like to see. Now comes the age-old question. Do we take the red pill or the blue pill? I'm more a red pill kind of guy. But jokes aside, you should choose combat to have a more sustainable amount of blessings. Because if you choose occurrence, you don't always get blessings. Okay, we have bad luck again. No hunt. Reset. Yes, hunt. Crit damage. That's what we like. Okay, so we get our path resonance. Now we also have this. We'll take this. The funny thing with the hunt is you can just do this. And they disappear. <laughs> uh, okay, we get a hunt again. We're on a luck streak. Yes, another hunt. I think we're gonna get perfect aim anyways, so I'm going to choose bone arrow because if we kill enemies with this, it will regenerate its energy to 50%, which is quite nice. So we'll take this and we're gonna take perfect aim later. Okay, our first elite. Just use your path resonance and it's gonna be fine. If you have level 60 characters, this should be a very easy run. Boom. Ah, he's almost dead. Bye-bye. First elite done, we also have our first three star blessing. Take that immediately. Oh, we're so blessed. Oh, I love this game. Oh, this is such a great run. I've never gotten this wax before. This, if you ever get this, always choose this. It just increases the odds at which you get the uh, hunt blessings. So it's it's a very good wax. Let's get one curio. Oh, okay, this is not really good. This is not really good. I'll just take this. Thank you. It will make the elite bosses a bit easier. Here, this is the cool part because now you can just spam R. I mean, not, not quite yet, but we can basically spam R. Nice. Another hunt blessing. We love that. Here, spam this. And dead. And regent. <laughs> Uh, the hunt path is so fun. Okay, we got our second resonance formation. I think we're gonna go... Yeah, yeah. You always go perfect aim and bow and arrow. Those are the two you need. Um, Star Hunter is just kind of meh. Especially for this world. Kind of just whatever. Here, look at this. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, I'm first gonna break all their shields. And then I'm gonna do this. They die. I get another charge. 
They die and my <laughs> charges are full. <laughs> I can just spam this. I can just keep spamming this. It's too easy. Oh, we get another hunt path. Oh, and if you have to choose between occurrence and encounter, it's all up to you. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm um, just go encounter. Encounters are most of the time bosses. And if you beat them, you get uh, great blessings. So let me beat the crap out of this boss. Okay, he's summoning. So we just use this. They die. I get the charge back. And we kill two, so we get two charges. Oh, yeah. Now we can just finish him off. Like, it doesn't get easier than this. Let's go. Another three-star blessing. Hell yeah. Okay, here comes the elite. Let's see how this goes. This is not our type matchup we want, but it should be fine. Okay, here comes. We'll use our skill. Boom. Okay, they're almost dead. Let's use it again. They should die. Boom. Bunch of damage. Okay, here he summons again. We just spam, we just spam our path resonance. And now we can, yeah. <laughs> Your characters don't even have to be strong. You just have to spam, <laughs> spam to win. <laughs> so what did I say? What did I say? World seven is a joke. It's so easy. Anyone should be able to do it. Just choose hunt and boom. Okay, so here I get two blessings, but if I choose this, I could get three. Now I'll do that. Ah, goddammit, too. But they're both hunt blessings. So that means we get all three resonance formations. I've never had such a perfect run before. So yeah, up to now, very easy. Very easy. Here. So if you see this, press R. And then again. They die. I get my resonance back. Press it again. They die. And I get it back completely. Ooh, okay. Expose the bankruptcy. We get one blessing of remembrance. And we'll just fight both. Bye bye. And one more. Bye bye. Here comes the main show. Welcome, welcome. If you skipped forward to this, just know that I had a lot of luck and got a lot of good blessings. So don't expect every run to be like this, but you only have to have two path resonances. If you have both, that's great. Then you'll be able to do this boss fight just fine. If you don't have two and it's really hard to clear his twigs, that's fine as well. You can always just reset, but you just need a little luck and you'll be here by my side beating the shit out of this dear boss. I'll show you how broken this is right now. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so first step. First step when doing this. You do not use your resonance skill until you can kill a twig. So right now, I don't have enough energy for this path resonance. So what I'll do is just fight him normally. Boom, ult damage. Yeah, we're breaking through his shield so quick. Okay, here comes the twigs. We should be able to kill the twigs. If we're not, just do it again. Oh, oops. Um... Yeah, I effed up there. I forgot that he was low HP, but it's fine, it's fine. So that was a mistake, and you should learn from that. We learn from our mistakes. So we're, we're, we're first just gonna get our energy back. After you have your energy, that's when you use your skill on the twigs. Okay, let's lower the HP of, the, of this left twig, so we can actually kill him. Okay, so we should be able to kill him now. So we, now we use our skill. Boom, he's dead. We get our skill back. We can use our skill again. Boom, he's dead, and his friends are dead. And now we have our full skill. How crazy is that? Now we finish him off like this. Boom. Easy. Now he's gonna summon twigs again. And look at this. Look at this. He'll summon his twigs. I'm gonna spam my ult. Look how much damage we've done. We killed one. Oh, we'll ult again. We killed another one. Oh, we ult again. And we killed another one. We have two more ults. <laughs> this is so broken. <laughs> It's absolutely insane what you can do with the hunt. Now we just wiggle him down, wiggle his HP down. And he should be dead in like a few hits. Bomb, break his shield, he's 1 HP and finish. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful. We're almost at a thousand, so any help is appreciated. Thank you very much. That's about it. See you next time. Shibu out.